Kia ora tamariki ma. We have a new story for today and it's called The Bees Sneeze. And it is written by Lucy Davey and it is illustrated by Katz Cowley. So Lucy was the author and Katz is the illustrator. The Bees Sneeze. On Tootle Tuff Hill, figliciously big, grew fruity full groves of the Tootle Tuff fig. One day, a lorikeet swooped for a feed, flew far away, and pooped out a seed. The seed hit the ground in Willow Womp Wood, near Crocodile Swamp, where the soil was good. Soon from the seed grew the teeniest plume of a shoot, then a plant, then a tootle tough bloom. Buzzy McBee was busy on high, the lovely new flower attracted her eye. My, said Buzz with a loop de loo flip, I'll zip right down for a nectary nip. Buzzy McBee sipped from the bloom, but soon the tootle tuff's sweet perfume puffled and prickled a teasy sneeze. Uh-oh, cried Buzzy McBee, I smell a whiff, a ticklish sniff, I'll squeeze the sneeze inside. So Buzzy McBee wobbled her knees, but still that teasy sneeze came breezing, jiggling and joggling like kids at the zoo. It grew till it blew with a loud... Rumbly tumbly, head over end, Buzzy McBee bumped into a friend. Bless you, said Monkey Minx. Thank you, said Buzzy, but help me please to shift this flower that's making me sneeze. Sure, said Monkey, and dug out the bloom. But soon the Tootle Tuff's sweet perfume swirled and curled a teasy sneeze. Uh-oh, cried Monkey Minx. I smell a whiff, a ticklish sniff. I'll squeeze the sneeze inside. Monkey Minx winked and blinked. Buzzy McBee wobbled her knees. But still that teasy sneeze came breezing. Bubbling and boiling like Bushman's brew, it grew till it blew with a loud... Bumbling backwards, Monkey and Buzz landed kaspoof on a friend full of fuzz. Bless you, said Barefoot but, Barefoot Bear. Thank you, said Monkey, but help us please to carry this flower that's making us sneeze. Sure, said Barefoot, toting the bloom, but soon the tootle tough sweet perfume wafted, wafted and whirled a teasy sneeze. Uh-oh, cried Barefoot Bear. I smell a whiff, a ticklish sniff. I'll squeeze the sneeze inside. Barefoot Bear pulled on his hair. Monkey Minx winked and blinked. Buzzy Bit Bee wobbled her knees, but still that teasy sneeze came breezing. Like ants in the pants of a kangaroo, it grew till it blew with a loud... Achoo! Jumbled about in a roly-pole romp, the friends went tumbling down to the swamp. Bless you, said greedy crocodile. Crocodile, thank you, but help us please to ferry this flower that makes us sneeze. Sure, said Crocodile, hop on my back. I'll have you across the swamp, quick, quack. But Lizzie Malou was curled on a rock. She stirred when she heard the words of the croc. Stop, cried Lizzie, watch out, have fear. He'll gobble you all, but here's an idea. 
Let's make a chain and swing in a line over the swamp like riding a vine. So linking with Lizzie, they swung with the bloom, but soon the tootle tough sweet perfume wheezed and tweezed a teasy sneeze. Uh-oh, cried Lizzie Malou. Now I smell a whiff, a ticklish sniff. I'll squeeze the sneeze inside. Lizzie Malou turned herself blue, barefoot bear pulled on his hair. Monkey Minx winked and blinked. Buzzy McBee wobbled her knees, but still that teasy sneeze came breezing. Crocodile grinned. That's naught you can do. That sneeze will explode. Just wait. Achoo! Hungrily watching them fall and flap, Crocodile opened his mouth and... Snap! Buzzy McBee, Monkey Minx, Barefoot Bear and Lizzie Malou were swallowed up whole in one gulp too. Yum, yum, Crocodile smiled, but soon... From deep inside that tootle tough bloom prickled and tickled his teasy sneeze like a fearsome volcano that fizzled and grew until it exploded and blew. Achoo! Out came the friends and the tootle tough too. Buzzy, Lizzie, Monkey and Bear were mightily glad to be out in fresh air. They romped from the swamp with a zip and a stomp while Crocodile gave them a glowering glare. And what of the bloom that was thrown to the sky? It was caught by a lorikeet flying by. It slipped from her clutch over Tootle Tuff Hill, landing roots down and is growing there still. I hope you enjoyed that story about the bee's sneeze and as you can see my dog there she has been chasing crickets in the garden while I've been reading to you so now she's dug a hole and I'm going to have to go and put that all back together. Kake